What's going on guys? We're back with Zach and we're gonna show him actually how to wrap. And he got a delivery of this Cybertruck. Super awesome. We got it all washed and prepped. And the process is pretty much the same, but obviously very different because there's no paint. <laughs> but uh, you wanna wash it, you know, decontaminate it as much as you can. And then the last process is using some alcohol. It's 80, 20 water and 70% ISO alcohol. But let's get started. So this Great. is- yeah, I know absolutely nothing about vinyl. Yeah, so, so he's not a trained <laughs> excited to learn. Yeah, that. so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So the first step is going to be just cleaning it. Um, I like kind of putting it on the actual microfiber so that I'm not like um, spraying it everywhere, right? Sure. Immediately mm -hmm. that uh, fingerprints go away. So it does a really good job. For sure. The next part is going to be um, edge prep. Ah, just so it has like a clean surface to mm -hmm. stick to when you wrap mm -hmm. it around. Especially this corner and you can see, look at that. <laughs> right. I know you heat um, your vinyl for like curves of a vehicle. Yes. Do you have to do that at all for the Cybertruck? No. No. That's, no. that's no. awesome. <laughs> so there, there's two reasons why you heat a vinyl. Uh -huh. One is when you're conforming to those sure. those shapes, right? So like a Model S bumper is like one thing, right? It has that right. massive uh, shape. Um, on a Cybertruck, it's all flat for literally, the most part. Yeah, it's literally the same a polygon. Mentions as the um, sheet of vinyl. <laughs> exactly. But you actually still have to heat um, oh. for post heat. And what that does is you're killing the memory of the vinyl mm. and it'll make sure that it, it, it stays there for, like, uh, for a long time. Can you do this through a knife? Yes, you can, but it's learning. So we don't want to blade on the car or anything like that, right? Great. So this is what a knife plus tape is called. Ah, gotcha. So this is kind of cool. Um, very, very useful. <laughs> when you're learning, this is actually really good. Yeah, I'd rather not gouge my car, so. Yeah, so we're just, what we're doing is, you see that little pink yeah. line right there? Uh-huh. So that's what's gonna cut the actual vinyl. To squeegee, and I'll kind of show you once we lay it down, is you hold it with four fingers like this, okay. and you have the thumb right here, and what you're trying to do, you're not trying to bend it like that, you're trying to keep it as flat. Okay. And a lot of people do like a 45 degree, you don't do a 90. 90, you're gonna bulldoze and then get wrinkles. Okay. So instead of a 90 degree or 45, I go more like this. Okay. Like a 15, I guess, and then just kind of Go through. Yeah. Cool. And so you, you squeegee with the like the, 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 felt, the side. felt side. Yeah, the felt side. So this area is when you get to the edges and stuff, and you want to kind of like tuck it in. Or yeah, gotcha. You also have some trim tools, not trim tools, but tucking tools. So like this one is awesome because this will go right in. Any questions? I don't even know what I need to ask. All so. right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. So we're gonna go ahead since this is a pretty big panel. Let's just go ahead and have you hold this. Okay. And then you're just gonna help me like grab it from your side. So here we go. Okay. And go ahead and grab it. And just pull it all the way. Yep, you should be fine. And then straighten it out, yep. So I just hold the edge right here? Yeah. And all we're gonna do is just kind of line it up where it takes it back a little bit. There you go. You see how it's just sliding like that? Uh -huh. And all we have to do is just, that's it. Sure. So I'll let you do the honor. Okay. Uh, squeegeeing the first one. This is crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, this is a, again, very, very flat vehicle. Um, so you can kind of work in sections. So you got this top part of the body, like if right. you look at here, you got this next section and the next section. So what, that's what we're gonna do. Just we're gonna like from body line to body line. Yeah, we're gonna just start in this middle one and then go up and then after that go down. You start in the middle uh -huh. and then, yep. From and the then, top yep. up here? Yeah, and then you're gonna try to keep it flat and then let it go all the way. Huh. There you go. And then you see how it's leaving a little bit? So a little bit more pressure. Okay. Like that. And then you can see it kind of, it's, mm -hmm. it's air channel release. So it's not a problem if that happened. So just need to go a little bit more. So you can go okay. below that. And just go all the way out as well. Boom. That's it. What do you do about air bubbles? You just go. Just push it on out. And then I actually need to go a little bit harder. But this stainless steel actually um, works very, very well as far as like sticking. And now we have the center anchored. Cool. This is gonna look so cool. So we can use this one. Sweet. And then this one's a little softer. So we can save that for a different time. And you'll, you'll feel the difference. Yeah, so that feels try. way easier. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. There. All you have to do is just start at the bottom when you don't have a whole lot of, um, I guess, uh, uh, space, you can go straight up. So I, I, you see how I'm doing that? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and do the other side. Okay. 
and go all the way What have I done? Yeah, perfect. That's a great question, right? So, <laughs> no worries. So that's that's what a wrinkle is. But uh -huh. check check this out with with vinyl. So that means there was a lot of bridging there uh -huh. because it was still stuck to that mirror. Gotcha. I mean, sorry. The, uh -huh. All you have to do is hold it up like this, and you see there's wrinkles, uh -huh. and no more. Solid. And then you just let that sit and relax a little bit, and go ahead and squeegee that down now, and then you'll see nothing. And that's what's really cool about this vinyl and modern vinyl is it's really, really forgiving. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's completely gone. Yeah. Now, when you get to this part point, um, you got to start an exit point, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where the vinyl is, sorry, the vinyl tape right here. Right. So I created an exit point like gotcha. that. Uh -huh. And then you see all of this is on path exactly how we want it. We give it a little bit of heat. You want to get to the entrance and as you get to the entrance, you hold your finger and you pull and just go all the way out mm -hmm. right here. And then just consistency. Perfect. Nice. Natural. And then yep, yeah, all the way out, let it exit. That's where the mirror is. So you can just follow that line. Boom. Both sides of the tape and mess yeah. it together. Yeah, and then just pull the whole vinyl. Oh, and that also then releases the mm -hmm. the bottom side for yeah. the tuckies. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an actual tape. Is this a worry right here? That's just the the little bubble that that just came out. Okay. You always want to post. Uh, sorry, heat before you cut. And in this case, I'm not actually touching the body. And then you just follow that line right here. So there you go. You keep it like nice and loose like this. You see this? Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and start from the middle and you're going to watch where I've done and you see where I started mm -hmm. and then you're going to take go it a bit, about a little bit more and then you're going to go out that way. So it's going to be like in tandem. So you go, yep. And then all the way through and then my turn and then Oh, I've done it again. Oh, good. So I got a wrinkle again. Yeah. So that means that the angle was maybe a little bit too 90. Okay. So just keep it a little bit less. So, we'll so yeah, all this. you have to do is once you pull it. So I like pulling like here because we don't want to risk anything. Okay. Yep. And then we don't want to pull too much at this point. Yep. And then just relax it and then let it sit for like five seconds. And then after that, you can just uh, look at that. Nothing. Just like that. So go ahead. Yeah. So like that. Go ahead. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yep. Just kind of keep it. Just hold it. Hold it down. There you go. Yep, you got it. We're gonna start in the middle, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Then go out wide. Yep, and then go all the way out wide to your side. The bulk of it is done, right? So obviously it's not fully done, right? But we're gonna go ahead and check it. Do we do the squeegee right? Do we not? And we're going to check it by heating all the areas and just checking if any areas pops up. The bubbles will pop up if the force will be enough. So let's go ahead and check here. That's good. Put that out. And then after that, you're going to just use the green tool and just kind of start tucking in as much as you can. Yeah. 
So things like this, you always want to start with the corner first. And then once you use heat, you just kind of use your finger. Roll it over. Roll it over. Yeah. You just kind of do a cut right down the center, and then you're going to do a fold over. Gotcha. That way you give it that relief, and then you don't see it. And so was there any fold over on the bottom there, or is that just cuts to a... So it went right to the edge, mm. and then right, we can cut right to it. Gotcha. Uh, there's not necessarily like a benefit of like going all the way in or anything like that. It'll last just the same. Sometimes it'll last even longer that way. And then fold over. There you go. Awesome. What do you think about the color? I think it's awesome. I think it look, it'll look great. Let's go ahead and put the mirror back just because. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me feed this through and then you want to catch it through that. Yep, I see. Yeah. You got sure. it? Got it. Yep, it's through. Now it's on the right slot. Okay. Yep, and that red clip is clipped. There you go. <laughs> okay. There you go. Solid. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> so now. It's done. It's done. Thank you guys so much for um, joining us. I uh, hope that wasn't, that was pretty easy. It was right? awesome, a lot yeah. of fun. So we got this door, obviously we're wrapping the rest of it. We're gonna do this in carbon fiber. The trim's in carbon fiber. If you wanna watch a second part of the series where we do and tackle this door after being an experienced master artist, yeah. make sure you follow and subscribe to Our Cyber Life on YouTube and give him some love, so. Thanks. Go to his channel to watch the second part, and we'll see you again later. See you there.